Hey guys, today we're going to show you how to replace your oil pressure sensor in your Cummins ISX. You on out there? Alright, let's get this thing moving. Alright, today guys, we're going to, um, we had an oil pressure sensor go out on this truck and it was leaking around the plastic part where it's made into the metal. Um, we've already got the old one out because we had to get the old one out to order the new part and here's the new one he says it's the same sensor it's got like a sealant type material that's around it and that's what busted loose on this one always having an oil leak on the truck so anyway we're going to talk to you about what all you got to have to do it and then we're going to show you where it's at and everything it's not too big of a job but it'll it'll be a well worth replacing just for the oil and the mass that's going to be on your engine. Bill's going to talk to you about the tools you're going to need and we'll show you where it's at. Well, it looks like we got an inch and a sixteenth socket. We got a uh, universal or some of the yam dankies call it, a wobbly joint. We got an extension and a half inch ratchet. That's all you need. All right, guys, let's go to the truck and we'll show you what All right, guys, do. here we are looking at the motor. We're standing on the driver's side and see where the steering arm comes down and if you will i'm gonna have to try to do some camera work here to get to show that hole that hole right there is where that plug goes in of course the plug's hanging down right there so we're going to show you how to get that thing in there and uh get it hooked up where you won't have an oil leak all right this has got an o-ring on it no need for any teflon tape Screw it in till it bottoms out. Don't over torque it or if you break it off, you'll pay hell trying to get it, the broken part back out of it. All you do is screw it in. Move my light. I'm used to working in the dark anyway. Sockets up on the center. Trying to get the light in there, it's so dark. Like I said, you don't want to over torque it. Don't put a whole lot of pressure on it. I'm sure there's some kind of torque spec to it, but. And take the little plug. Look at it. That little red tab just slides sideways and locks it into place. When you hear it click, it's locked. Give it a little tug, make sure it's hooked up. And that's it. All right, guys, I'm trying to move over here. I know it's kind of hard to see with the um, light and everything. See if I can get in here to actually show you the part that was replaced. All right, guys, there it is. It's installed. You can kind of see what it looks like. Sorry, it's so hard to get the camera shot in there, but there it is. So now you know how to replace your oil pressure sensor on a Cummins IS6. If you guys like the videos, make sure to subscribe. We'll try to get some more done. Y'all have a great week. Catch you next time.